The Quack Quiz. Proudly brought to you by Discam. Pharmacists do care. It is time for the Quack Quiz now. Those of us who are healthy often take the ability to breathe for granted, but there are many things that can go wrong with this essential system of the body, causing every breath to become a struggle. So are you ready to take a deep breath and dive in and test your knowledge on breathing with that of Aggie? Hey, Aggie, good to have you in studio. <laughs> I remember mean, you must be so proud of Aggie. Hey? Yeah, I know. She's, she's grown a lot from a maid to a businesswoman. I'm two impressed. businesses, not just yeah, two. A, uh, right, jewelry yeah. and a cleaning service. And she runs the newspaper, of course. That's but amazing. let's not tell everyone that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hush, hush. And a boyfriend. Don't forget the boyfriend. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. So uh, my love life is looking all right. Booming. Outside of your love life, your, your active life is just kind of gone stellar. I mean, you have done, I think you, you, you're onto your fifth boot camp already. Yeah, um, I've recently just been uh, appointed as uh, ambassador for Adventure Boot Camp. And um, I guess they saw my, my commitment and my determination and, and that's why they appointed me the as ambassador. Yeah. What is it about exercise that just, that you love? Because it really is the exercise side of things. Like honestly, for me, it was, um, it was just getting to me now. It was no longer about a matter of weight loss. It was when I walked up a staircase, I'd get to the top huffing and puffing and I, I couldn't bend over anymore just to tie my shoelaces, just simple things like that. So I realized then that I'm like totally unfit. So I needed to do something to keep me fit because in the industry that we're in, your body and, and your mind needs to be ready for That's anything. Right. Yeah, you were too. Yeah, yeah so um, it just releases a lot of stress just working out. You know, I could Correct. be upset or happy and I can just show it in my workout. Where do I sign up? Um, <laughs> call me. <laughs> I'll call you, okay. We're getting straight back. So away from heavy breathing yes. and all that sort of stuff into some actual breathing stuff. The quack was, you know how it works? Yep. You guys can do it on the app and see if you can score better than uh, than Mimi will. <laughs> Here goes Mimi. First of ten questions. That <laughs> nagging cough that wakes you up at night should go away in about seven days or 18 days. Stand cough. I would go with, uh, seven days is one week, hey. Yeah. I would go with 18 days. You are right. <laughs> Yeah, a cough cool. just lasts generally 18 days. Cool. And people think it should be shorter, but no, 18 days is standard. Anything longer, and then you start needing to get hold of that doctor of yours. Okay, we're in a good, good start. Run. Which of these is effective in reducing symptoms of exercise induced asthma? Something I hope you don't have with boot camp. Is it vitamin C that assists or caffeine that assists with reducing exercise induced asthma? Uh, <laughs> I'll just go with caffeine. <laughs> I can see you going, I have no idea why I really I'm an exorcist. The truth is vitamin C of all things. Oh, my soul. Yeah, and Mimi. It's, it's inexpensive and it's available and it's worth trying if you do find yourself a little bit short of breath when you're exercising. Cool. True or false, other healthy habits may make up for smoking. In other words, if you smoke, you can kind of counter that with good exercise and regular boot camps. No, there's no such thing. You're so right. I Absolutely guess. false. <laughs> you and I agree on that. Yeah. <laughs> Which of these common home remedies can ease a nighttime cough in children? I know you've got a nephew at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, a spoonful of honey or Vicks on their feet? Ah, uh, Vicks. I know that one. <laughs> I grew up with it. Vicks on their feet? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so here's the secret for you. I also grew up with Vicks on my feet. There we go. But the truth is, it's honey. Really? Yes. Oh, man. I mean, Vicks on the feet <laughs> feels fantastic, but I have no idea what it does for a cough, you know. In fact, a number of studies have shown that honey can reduce a cough's severity, its frequency, and the annoyance of a cough, especially in kids. It also coats the throat and triggers the swallowing mechanism, which are both important in easing a constant cough. So, yeah, honey, you know, but we're still going to use Vicks anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is third-hand smoke? Interesting question. The smoke pumped out of aircon vents or smoke particles that settle into curtains and furniture? Yeah. <laughs> I'll go with the second one with smoke particles yes. that settles into right. furniture. Because yeah. after you've distinguished it, it still lingers on in the air somewhere. You're hey. so right. There you go. And you know what they're saying? <laughs> that third hand smoke is as dangerous as second hand smoke. Oh, crazy. Okay. Hey? I'm doing very well so far. <laughs> if you have asthma, drinking milk is bad because it increases mucus production, or fine, everybody needs calcium. Everybody needs calcium. I'll just go yes. with that one. It seems safe. <laughs> you are a wise decision. Yeah. And, and the reason I ask that question is so many asthmatics feel that if they have milk, it kind of makes them cough. But milk doesn't do that. Cold milk, maybe. But standard milk, no problem, unless you have an allergy, of course. Yeah. Okay, here's an important one, maybe. A cough mm -hmm. that brings up yellow-green mucus mm -hmm, means you have an infection and need antibiotics. 
or you're on the med? No, you definitely need antibiotics. I don't think you're on the wind. I, you know I what? I'm so wrong. glad you said that. I, she says, <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> Most people would agree with you. In fact, I'm willing to bet that 9 out of 10 people say that. And the truth is, no, it means you're on the mend. I mean, oh, wow. Well, yeah, yeah. yellow-green mucus isn't pretty, but it's part of the normal course of a cold caused by a virus. And because mucus is thicker and harder for your sinuses to drain, you may feel pressure in your face, but you still may not have a sinus infection or need antibiotics. If it continues for more than 10 days, then maybe. So, oh, okay. uh, so don't, don't go for antibiotics just because <laughs> it's yellow, green, yucky, ugh, you know. Cool. Sorry, what a horrible topic to talk about. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the actual job uh, maybe of breathing is done by the diaphragm, mm -hmm. which is the sheet of muscles below the chest and abdomen, or the muscle that surrounds the lungs. I'll go with the first one. A absolutely right. Yeah, you, you must sing, don't you? You look like you're no, a singer. No, I, I know I look like a singer, but my mom says to me, listen, what happened to you? You can't <laughs> sing. I'm like, I should be asking you. I have no idea. So I, I, I can't, can't sing, sing to yeah. save my life. No, okay. I'd love to, though. Almost done. Panic attacks are often mistaken for what? Heart attacks or paranoia? Heart attacks. I'd go with heart attacks. <laughs> Who whispered? Who was whispering in the audience? You know, so heart attacks is right. It's amazing, oh, hey? In, in fact, one out of every four people that go to the emergency room for a, a heart attack is in fact just a panic attack. Oh, so, interesting, okay. Yeah. Final question. People who suffer from panic disorders should avoid too much chocolate or cheese? I'll go with chocolate because I don't like it very much. You don't like chocolate? No, That's I'm not amazing. a chocolate girl. Yeah. Wow. I don't like it. Well, you're right. Yes! People are, <laughs> I mean, that, that's true. In fact, chocolate and I think caffeine and nicotine all increase anxiety, so yeah. best avoid it. Okay. But I'm impressed you don't like chocolate. No, I don't. I I'm, think you're I'm, the only one in the world. <laughs> I will eat it, but I'm, I'm not crazy about it. I, won't, I will go, I think, about a couple of months without eating chocolate. I'm wow. fine. You've got a lot of jealous people out there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people are kind of going, oh, Mimi scored better than I did. So, well, I well hope done, I Mimi. did. Thank Lovely you. having you on the show. Thanks Thank for your you. help and your insights. Thank you very and, uh, much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's your chance to quiz our doctors on any health-related matter. So get the Hello Doctor app or go to hellodoctor.com, click on the TV show, text our doctors and ask them anything for the next hour. It won't cost you a cent. The Quack Quiz, proudly brought to you by Discam, pharmacist to care.